One of the hallmarks of real computer programming is your ability as a programmer to tell the computer how to make a decision based on conditions that it perceives on the spot. And so we're going to show you how to make uh, decisions, how to get the computer to make decisions. Um, and here's a little project that I want to show you. Set up, the setup button simply creates this many turtles, in this case a one but according to this slider. And uh, the turtles will be of, uh, you know, move in random directions and will have random colors. And that's what the go button will do. It's a forever button and it will cause the turtles to move. Here's the code so that you can understand. The setup button calls this setup procedure which clears everything over here and creates this many turtles, num turtles being the slider. And this is a little bit new. Um, after this CRT which creates uh, a number of turtles but they're not all directed out like spokes of a wheel um, and they're, they're given random colors, you can actually create, you can actually uh, uh, specify a set of instructions that will go just to the turtles you've just created. And so all the turtles that we've just created, we're going to have set size 3. The go procedure calls, uh, the go button calls this go procedure, which calls our wiggle procedure. And where's wiggle? Wiggle is over here. And we simply want uh, the, the turtle to move forward a very, very small amount. Uh, because it's going, it's going to be going very fast and um, to turn right a random three degrees and left a random three degrees so turn a, a small amount and if we do that uh, and we set this up we we got our red turtle over here and we've slowed things down a little bit so that we can watch him move and there he goes wiggling around the screen okay now suppose what we want the decision to be is that if the turtle here ever ventures on to the right hand side of the screen anywhere from this line to the right including if he passes through this wall and ends up in the right hand side of the screen we want him to turn yellow and to remain yellow we don't want to recolor him from that on but um, he will turn yellow once and then he will remain yellow thereafter so that's what we want to achieve with our program and we can do that by adding a piece of code over here. Before he wiggles, let's let the computer tell him, by the way, Mr. Turtle, if you're on the right hand side of the screen, please turn yourself yellow. Now, how do we know? Uh, how does the turtle know whether he's on the right hand side of the screen? By looking at his X score property, his X coordinate. And if that is positive, then he's on the right hand side of the screen. And here's the command, the decision making command for, t for doing that. If X score greater than zero, then do the following one or more commands. In this case, just one command, which is set color yellow. Close bracket. The close bracket closes the set of commands that will be executed if the turtle uh, X score is greater than zero. And so every time we execute the go procedure, the turtle will, uh, since the um, this will go, this, this, this set of commands here will be executed by every turtle. The turtle will look at his own X score, decide whether it's greater than zero, and if it is, he'll turn, he'll execute this command, which will turn him yellow, and then he will go on to the wiggle command. If, on the other hand, X score is not greater than zero, then he will skip this, and he will again go on and do the wiggle command, and so in any case, the wiggle command will be executed and the turtle will move forward and turn. And so let's try that. We'll try the setup again. Um, and now the turtle's pointed in this direction and so he's not to moving toward the right hand side of the screen and he's red. Let's see how far he goes before he ends up yellow. There he's still on the left hand side of the screen and well we've we're going to have to wait for a little bit of time. There. He's gone through the wall. He's ended up on the right-hand side of the screen. And he will be yellow forever. Let's try that again. He's headed in the left direction. Bingo. And we have to wait for a while. And there he's branched into the right-hand side of the screen again. And he's turned yellow. What's interesting is that we can actually create many, many turtles. Let's say... 30 of them at a time 
and some of them will be going on to the left and some of them will immediately going be going on to the right and immediately turning themselves yellow so let's see what happens we'll speed this up a little bit and notice these guys here have not yet gone to the right hand side of the screen and so they're still not yellow but eventually all of these guys will become yellow because they will wander onto the right hand side of the screen some way or another and turn themselves yellow so the other thing to notice is that this this command we have not changed any of the commands to accommodate the fact that we've got 30 turtles now instead of uh, one uh, and when the go procedure is called these commands are sent out to every single turtle and every single turtle individually obeys this set of commands looks at his own x coordinate decides whether it's positive or not and if it is positive turns himself yellow and if it isn't simply goes on to the wiggle okay now this is part one of two um, videos on the uh, decision making command in this case if uh, let's go on and make a something something slightly more complicated which is if you wander into the right hand side you turn yourself yellow if you wander into the left hand side you turn yourself red uh, and so what we need is a two-way branch which we can do with something called if else and again if else is followed by a test this test is uh, true or false and in this case by the way the formatting we can put things on the next line or not as we please in this case we not only have one program block to occur when the test passes when the test is true we have another program block to execute when the test is false and so let's read this turtle mister turtle if your x score is yellow then do what's in the first program block and simply go on beyond the second and go on to the wiggle. If Mr. Turtle this fails, then skip the first program block and go to the second program block and execute this one. And then go on after the if else and wiggle. So in every case, what, whichever of these two gets executed, the wiggle gets executed afterwards because it's outside, it's beyond the decision making uh, portion of the program. So the if else allows you to to create two sets of commands the first part is called the true part and you can have any number of commands within these square blocks and that will they will be executed when the test turns out to be true and the second set of square brackets will enclose another set of different commands presumably that will be executed when the test fails and notice that this go procedure is called on every single step in the turtle's life. So when he when he ends up on the right hand side, the moment he ends up on the right hand side, he will turn himself yellow. But the moment he ends up on the left hand side, he'll turn himself red. And so let's try that with a single turtle. And we'll slow this down. And there's oops, here there's a single turtle. And he's wandering around the right right hand side. And now he's on the left hand side. And the moment he turns on the right hand side, the left hand side, he becomes red and yellow on that side. And it's much easier to see with a large number of turtles, which we will do with, say, 50. And there they go. All the turtles on this side have colored themselves red, and those side have colored themselves yellow. And when they switch sides, they will change coloring. Remember, every one of these commands goes to every one of the turtles and each individual turtle will look at his own x score and make his decision on the spot and that's it there may be exercises following this video and do them if there are